Hi everyone, this is GATE CSE 2021 question. Okay, and in this question, first of all, the statement is given to you that we want to create a synchronous circuit, a sequential circuit we want to create, and the input is basically the string of 0, 1. Now, whatever is the string that is given to you, what you want to do, you want to produce another string by replacing the first one in any sequence of consecutive ones by 0. Okay, consider the following example. So, okay, what this, first of all, let's understand what is this problem. Okay, so we want to create a melee machine. The question is asking that create a melee machine, design a melee machine. Okay, so what this machine has to do? So this melee machine we have to design. We have to design a melee machine. And what you, what this machine will do? So some in binary string, some binary string you give as the input. Okay, and the output also will be some other binary string FW. Okay, so you can notice this is also a, a binary string. This is this FW. This is also a binary string. Okay, now the question is saying that what this machine should do? This machine, what this machine should do? It should do like this. In any okay, the first one in any consecutive sequence of ones you replace by zero. Okay, so it is like this. Okay, so if you have a string, for example, if your string is 0, 0, 1, okay, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay, if this is your string, then what you have to do? Then the output will be what? Output is like this. Okay, the first one in any, for example, this is the first one. Okay, first one in any consecutive sequence of ones. Okay, for example, in this consecutive sequence of ones, this is the first one. In this consecutive sequence of one, this is the first one. In this consecutive sequence of ones, this is the first one. Okay, and in this consecutive sequence of one, this is the first one. So you replace them by zero. Just replace them by zero. Everything else is same. Okay, don't don't okay don't bother anything else. Everything else will be same. Okay, so this is the this type of uh, this type of function is computed by this melee machine. So you want to design a melee machine which will do this. Okay, so if this is your string, then you should get this output. Okay, so this type of melee machine we need to design. Now the question, the question is saying that the output and the next state they depend on present state and current input. This we already know. Okay, this we already know that the output. Okay, you this we already know that output is basically a function of what is your current state. Okay, in which state you are, and also what is your input symbol. Okay, so this we already know that in the melee machine the output is that that depends on current state and input okay and similarly the next state the next state also in any sequence circuit whatever sequence circuit you take okay you can notice that the next state is basically determined by what is your current state and what is your current input okay so again you can notice that this is the point so the next state also depends on current state and input and the output also depends on current state and input now Okay, the question is saying that you can design a two-state two uh, two melee machine. So for this problem, to compute this function, okay, if you if this is the input string, then you want to create this output string. And to do this, what you can do, you can create a two-state melee machine, okay. And the melee machine, the state of the melee machine are represented by 0, 1. Okay, so let's first create the melee machine for this problem. Okay, so let me create the melee machine. So the question is saying that the melee machine has two state, state 0 and state 1. So you have two states in the melee machine and this is the initial state. This is given to you. The initial state is a zero. Okay. Now what we have to do very simple. If the sequence, if this is your sequence, then what you will do, you will wait for the first one. If the, the first one, you will change it to zero. Okay. And so you can notice you are waiting for the first one. So if zero are coming, if zero is coming, then output should be zero. If one is coming, the first one, the first one, you will change it to zero. So you can notice if zero is coming, you leave it as it is. If zero is coming, you leave it as it is. Okay. But if the first one, the first one, you change it to zero. So if this is your first one, the output should be zero. Okay. Now here, any number of ones can come. Any number of ones can come. You will print one. If zero comes, if zero comes, then what you will do? Then you will print zero and you will go to this state. Again, you can notice again. If one comes, then you will print zero. So basically in any consecutive sequence of ones, this is a consecutive sequence of ones. This is a consecutive sequence of ones. This is a consecutive sequence of ones. In any consecutive sequence of ones, what we need to do, the first one we need to change to zero. Everything else is fine. So you, okay. So this is the melee machine you, you will create. Okay. So finally, this is the melee machine we have designed. Once we got this melee machine, what we need to do? Now this question is saying that 
ne okay the current state is s okay for this okay so for the current state we have this variable s okay so for current state for current state i can say that variable s is used okay so you can notice this variable s is used for current state i can say current state as variable s is used okay and you can notice that for the next state for the next state the variable t is used but let me use s plus okay let me use s plus no problem because anyway the next state for the next state the variable t is used so okay it doesn't matter let us use s plus okay let me use s plus okay now similarly okay for the next bit for the next input bit so you can notice for the input i can say for the next incoming bit for the input you are using b and for the output okay for the output you are using this variable y okay so this is given to you now the question is asking write the equation of t write the equation next state equation and output equation you have to write okay so let's see okay you can notice that you need to write output equation okay so output is denoted by y the question is saying that output we denote by the variable y so this is your output variable okay so remember this is your output variable okay and this will depend on two things it will depend on what is your current state okay so it will depend on what is your current state as okay also it will depend on depend on what is your input so because you can notice output depends on current state and input so this is your current state and what is your input okay and we are denoting input by b so you can notice here the input we are denoting by b okay so very simple that output y will actually depend on what is your current state and what is the what is the input that you are reading okay so this is your output now let's write the output equation okay so from the state diagram you can very easily write the output equation okay if you want to write the output equation okay for this variable y i i am writing so let me write now just focus on this is your variable you can notice this is your output variable okay and i told you that from the state diagram you can directly write the equation okay so from the state diagram if you want to write equation for any variable then just focus on when that variable will become one okay just focus on when the variable y when the output will become one just focus on that when the variable means output will become uh, one okay so let's see when output will become one you can notice that okay you can notice output will become one only in this situation okay what i am saying i am saying in from the state diagram this is your state diagram if you want to write equation for any variable this is your output variable we want to write equation for this output variable then what you have to do just focus on when this variable will become one okay so you can notice this output variable is becoming one only in this situation this is your output you can notice okay, okay so this is your output here output is zero okay here output is zero and here output is zero so just focus on when the output will become one so here output is becoming one Okay. so to make output one what you have to do okay if you want to make output one then what you have to do very simple you should be in this state in this state this input should be coming okay in this state this input should be coming so i can say that this output will be one when you are in this state s equal to one and the input b equal to one okay so output output is one i can say output is one okay when state when state is one and the input is one okay so i can say finally i can say the answer will be what so output will be one when s is one and b is one okay so this is your output equation so from the state diagram you can very easily write the output equation okay so this is your answer so just focus on when the output will become one you can notice output is becoming one here to make output one what we have to do very simple you should be in this state so the state should be s equal to one and the input should be one so i can say y is equal to s b okay when s is one when state is one and b is one then the output will become one okay so finally y equal to s b now let's see how to write the next state equation okay so you can notice the next state equation also he is asking and next state he is denoting by the variable okay so this this variable they are using they are using this variable t okay you can use s plus also that is your choice okay this is t is basically s plus means this is basically the next state variable this is the next state variable it does not matter you can use this s plus also there is no problem okay we are more comfortable with s plus so you can use s plus also so this s plus is your next state variable okay and this next state variable this will depend on what is your current state that is s and what is your input that is b so again you can notice this we have to write this next state equation we have to write and this will depend on what is your current state and what is your input 
symbol so now we have to write the equation for s plus okay we have to write the equation for t or i can say s plus because remember they are saying that this is your next state variable this t or i can say s plus this is your next state variable okay now from the state diagram you can very easily write the equation for any variable all you have to do just focus on when the next state will become one just focus on this when the next state will become one okay so to make the next state one what you have to do you can notice if you are here if you are here then you can make next state one if your input is one okay so i am saying that if s is zero if s is zero then input should be one then input should be one okay so you can notice if s is zero and input is one then the next state will become one so basically just focus on when this next state will become one okay or or what can happen if s is okay if state is one and input is one and input is one then also what will happen then also next state will become one so if you are in this state and the input is one then also you can notice the next state will be one okay so this is what i am saying just focus on what okay just focus on making the next state equal to one just focus on when this variable will become one and this is your next state variable when this will become one so to make this one what you have to do very simple if you are in this state s equal to zero then input should be one okay similarly if you are in this state then input should be one okay so i can say s bar b or s b okay so from here you can simplify and the answer will be b okay so the answer is very simple answer okay uh, we got the answer y equal to s b and t equal to b y equal to s b and t equal to b so the answer will be here option okay here the answer will be option b okay so this is your answer now remember i hope you understood by state diagram okay so from the state diagram how can we write equation for a variable i hope you got it in the previous many questions i have done this so if you okay for example any variable you have okay let me take okay any variable you have any variable now this variable can be your maybe this can be your output variable or this can be your next state variable this can be any variable okay maybe this is output variable or maybe this is input okay uh, this can be next state variable so any variable you have okay okay if you want to write the equation for this variable then you can either use a state diagram or you can use a state table okay so any variable equation any variable equation can be can be uh, can be written can be written either okay either from a state diagram either from a state diagram so okay you can directly okay from the state diagram you can write equation for a variable okay equation of a variable you can directly write or what you can do or what you can do or you can use the state table okay you can use a state table so from a state table also what you can do you can write equation of any variable okay so this question we have done using uh from the direct okay from state diagram we have directly done this question this previous question we have solved this question directly from the state diagram so this state diagram we have and from this state diagram we have written the output variable equation and the next state variable equation but we can also use a state table okay so let me show you how to write from state table so what you do first this state diagram you convert into a state table okay so this is your first task just convert this state diagram into state table okay so let me make state table okay okay so very easily you can write the state table okay what is your current state and what is your okay input b now we can write the okay what is the next state and we can also write the equation for output variable so this is actually your output variable so we can write that okay we can create the truth table we can create the state table for output variable also we can create the state table for this is your next state variable this is your next state variable okay so you can notice okay this is actually your t the question is saying that this is t in the question he is denoting the next state variable by t okay so very simple 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 remember here y is also a function of s comma b y also the output also depends on current state and the input symbol and also you can notice this next state also depends on what is your current state and what is your input symbol okay so this is also a function of these two and this is this is also a function of these two okay now very simple that if s is 0 b is 0 means in this state s equal to 0 if the input is also 0 remember this is your input and this is your output okay so you can notice this is your input this is your input so i can say this is b 
and this is your output so i can say this is output one okay now you can notice s equal to zero b equal to zero then output will be zero and the next state will be the next state will be also zero so the next state will be zero output also will be zero now similarly if s is zero and input is b uh, input is one if s is zero input is one then the output will be zero but the next state will be one okay output will be zero similarly you can notice if your state is one and input is one then the output will be one next state will be one and if your state is one and the input is zero then output will be zero and the next state also will be zero okay once you have this state table now from this state table you can very easily write the equation for s plus okay so you can notice the s plus is actually nothing but b s plus is same as b you can notice this is your s plus just focus on this s plus this s plus is same as b okay so this is same as b and you can notice what is y y is nothing but this is s and b this is sp so like this you can do okay so remember from the state diagram also you can write if you have a state diagram you can write equation for any variable if you have a state table then also you can write equation for any variable so whatever variable they ask you for example output variable or next state variable or any other variable they can define okay so whatever they ask you you can very easily do from the state diagram we have seen directly from the state diagram you can do and directly from the state table also you can do from the state table it is very easy once you make the state table now this is very easy but remember to make the state table some time you have to spend okay so some time you will have to spend uh, to make the state table okay but you can notice this state diagram is directly given to you okay once you have this state diagram if this you have then directly from this state diagram you can write the equation what you have to do from the state diagram whenever you write the any variable equation then just focus on when the variable will become one so for example here if you want to write the equation for output variable focus on when the output variable will become one similarly if you want to write the equation for next state variable then focus on when the next state will become one okay so like this you can do and the answer will be option b so this is a very easy question this is gate 2021 computer science question okay